Morning, Eli. Sorry about the wait. Oh, that's all right. I hear you got a sick kid. Yeah, I know what that's like. Or I should say my wife does. So, you guys ready to give some ground so we can make this deal? Why would we do that? We've been going at this for eight months. As soon as you decide to get reasonable. I'm the one that's unreasonable. You've taken weeks to respond to every proposal I've presented. Atlantic Net Insurance is the largest health care provider in New Jersey, and you're not the only hospital whose contracts are up. So is your team ready to come back to the table? Yeah. We're not going to. This is our final offer. We're willing to go with a capitated structure, but we need at least a 12% increase in reimbursements across the board. Well, the good news is I can give you a quick response. Not a chance. But as always, nice talking to you. Say hi to your sister for me. If you don't accept the offer, we're going to terminate the contract. It's going to be hard to keep this place open if all your patients have to pay cash. Princeton Plainsboro is the smallest hospital in our entire network. We're also the best. Doesn't matter. We are responsible for covering 13 million people. We don't have enough cash to buy them all Maserati. I know what you pay Bergen, Newer Beth Israel, Robert Wood Johnson. It's because they have leverage. You can be expensive or small, but you can't be both. I've engaged Jones Curtin to handle the PR, and I'm prepared to make the announcement at 3 p.m. today. The first lesson every good poker player learns is don't get emotional. You don't have the cards. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner a reasonable contract will get signed. You have until 3 p.m. to change your mind. I always did like your style. It'll be sad to see you go. Hi. I'm Dr. Lisa Cuddy. Ronald Westbrook. I appreciate you taking the time to meet with me. Hard to avoid since you're already in my office. Uh, sorry about that. I just got over a wicked cold. Didn't want to... How can I help you? I represent Martin Acevedo. He's uh, filed a suit against PPH and Dr. Robert Chase for performing surgery without consent. Yes, I saw that. I also saw the consent forms. They were all signed. Yes, but my client was assured that the procedure would just be a few minor sutures. Wait, your client accidentally cut his thumb off with the table saw, right? Yes. And Dr. Chase reattached it? Yes. You're saying he didn't want it reattached? No, he most certainly did not. His insurance only covered 60% of inpatient expenses, so he would only agree to the cheapest option. So what did you tell him? I said I'd sew up the skin over the exposed bone. Then I put him under, got his thumb from the paramedics, and reattached it. What was he going to do? Tell a judge that I harmed him by reattaching a vital digit? Both he and the insurance company are suing to get out of paying the bill. It's over $80,000. It was his thumb. I couldn't just let him toss it in the trash to save a few bucks. You should have seen the guy's face. I thought he was going to have a damn coronary right there in the tea box. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, you're Keith Tannenbaum, CEO of Atlanta Net Insurance, right? That's me. How can I help you? Well, actually, I think we can help each other. I am Dr. Lisa Cuddy, Dean of Medicine at Princeton Plainsboro. Oh, yeah. Well, how are you? Well, I'm a little unhappy. You're aware that our contract with your company is up this week? Yes, and we have a negotiating team that's working all that out. So. Princeton Plainsboro has the highest rated ER in the state the most advanced ICU, and the most innovative diagnostic medicine department in the entire country. Good to know. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get... Well, Atlantic Net Insurance has a marketing budget that's more than our pediatric ICUs and transplant units combined. Your PGA sponsorship could pay for our walk-in clinic, and the money you spend to fuel your two private jets could fund our air ambulance service for the next three years. Your point being? Your growth may be good for your bottom line, but ours allows us to save lives. And I would rather not have to announce to the press how selective your company appears to be when it comes to cutting costs. Morgan was right. You are one tough gal. You can portray me as a rich bastard in the press all you want, just as long as I stay rich. Well, you ever want a job, trust me. You'll double whatever you're making here. Take it he liked my proposal. You don't have to tell me to get my ass back over here today. Here. He's willing to go to 8%. 8. We were at 4. 
Your board's gonna think you walk on water. I want 12. You're not gonna get 12. There's just no way. 8% barely covers our cost inflation. The capitated structure should allow you to hold down inflation. And shifts all your risk onto us, which is why we deserve 12. Lisa, come on. The guy who mows my lawn makes more than my kid's teacher. Hell, the two guys whose lunch you interrupted could get fired. Their severance would be more than most of their employees make in a lifetime. It doesn't have anything to do with what you deserve. This is it. Take it or leave it. But he's also not interested in being forced into a medical bankruptcy. Mr. Acevedo, I am sorry you're having financial difficulties. But because of us, you still have a thumb. I assume that's something a carpenter might need. And I assume you didn't ask for this meeting so you could lecture my client. You have insurance. But by filing this suit, you've caused us to get paid nothing by them either. That's not our problem. Actually, it is, since he's responsible for any expense we're not reimbursed. But if you drop the suit and make it clear that Dr. Chase was acting in your best interest when he reattached your thumb, then we'll be able to resubmit the claim. And you'll cover his deductible, attorney's fees, and 50 grand for pain and suffering. Actually, I was thinking more like we'd cover half his deductible, which means you'd only owe $16,000. You want him to pay you? Yes. Do you have any idea how much it costs? How many years it takes to train someone in microsurgery? We gave you back your life. You can still work. You can button your own shirt. Hold a fork. Martine, let's go. I'm sorry. I know I should pay. But I just can't. I still cannot work. I'm already underwater in my house. And I have two kids with braces. You think you'd be in better shape without a thumb? Right now? Financially? Yeah. How would it be? Well, so would we. But when you came in, we didn't think about that. We just took care of you. Made sure we did whatever you needed to get well. Yeah, right. All you doctors care about is healing. That's why there's all those BMWs and Porsches in the parking lot. Damn it. Come on, we're out of here. We'll see you in court. You're right, you will. You still have a thumb because of us. And like everyone else in this world, we don't work for free. We earn this money. And if we have to take your house to get it, we will. Going on? I think they're fighting. Out of my way. Now, out of the way. What the hell is going on? I told them to use their words. I didn't think you'd actually do it. I told you I would. Call the dogs off. You got your 12. Congratulations.
to shine on. You gonna get that? <laughs> 